Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at how to identify another group of squirrels that you may be familiar with, chipmunks. There are 22 species in North America, which is double the number of species of the tree squirrels that we went over last time. This is somewhat of a common theme, which is that the smaller the species group, the more species there will be within that group. And that's a rule that's broken quite often, but it is also true most of the time. And it's definitely true here, so let's get into the chipmunks. The first one we're going to go over is the eastern chipmunk, which is the only species found in the eastern United States. And there's only one other species found in some parts of eastern Canada alongside it, which is the least chipmunk, which we're going over next. This is a common theme too among mammals in North America, where a lot of the species groups are found mostly on the western side of the continent, with only a few species on the eastern side. The eastern chipmunk can be identified simply by its shorter stripes and larger size compared to the least chipmunk, which we're going over now. This is the most important species on this list, as it has the largest range of all the other chipmunk species in America. It's found all over central Canada and the Rocky Mountains, and it's found alongside many other species. You can identify it by its prominent stripes, its long tail, which is about the same length as its body, and its small size. It's the smallest species in North America. It can come in several different color morphs, from light brown in the northeastern part of its range to pale gray in some of the southwest. Another identifying feature of this species is that it holds its long tail straight up when it the yellow pine chipmunk is found all over the northern Rockies and down into the Sierra Nevada and California. It is larger than the least chipmunk and has a proportionally smaller tail compared to its body. It also usually has notable yellow on its sides and shoulders, which can distinguish it from some other species. The red-tailed chipmunk is notable for it having significant red in its tail, which I have this big picture on the right to show you that in detail. It's also got reddish colored fur on its sides. It's found in northern Idaho, western Montana, and into southeastern BC. So the Townsend's chipmunk is found in western Washington and Oregon. This species is notable for its large size. It's the largest species of chipmunk within its range, and it's darker colored stripes on its back, which vary from gray in inland areas, which you can see in the right picture, to cream in the coastal areas, which you can see in the left picture. There's also a species that is almost indistinguishable from this species called the Siskiyou chipmunk, which barely overlaps in range with it at the southern and southeastern end, and we'll go over this later. But they're distinguishable by their alarm calls, which you'll hear often if you're out looking for chipmunks because they see us as predators and they'll put out the alarm. Uh, and the Siskiyou chipmunk will make one single sound, whereas the Townsend's chipmunk will make two to three sounds together. The alpine chipmunk has one of the smallest ranges of any chipmunk species. It's only found in the central Sierra Nevada mountains in the Yosemite area. It's fairly pale in color, which distinguishes it from every species in its range except for the least chipmunk, which can be differentiated by the alpine chipmunk's shorter tail with a blackish tip. The lodgepole chipmunk is found all along the Sierra Nevada mountains and into the San Gabriel Mountains and other mountain ranges of Southern California. One of the main identifiers of this species is that it does not have a dark line below the last white line on the back. It goes directly to the brown on the side. And as you may have noticed from all the previous species, they all have a dark line below the last white line on their back. There are several other species with this coloration pattern, however, so it can be distinguished from them by its relatively lighter coloration along its sides, where it's gray and light brown. The long-eared chipmunk is found in the northern part of the Sierra Nevada around Lake Tahoe. Yes, there are a lot of chipmunk species in California. I know there's... we're not even done yet. This species can be identified by its longer ears, which are longer than any other species in its range, and it's also got a large white spot behind its ears, which I haven't found a good picture of, unfortunately, but you will see that. The yellow-cheeked chipmunk is found along the northwestern coast of California from Sonoma County up into Humboldt County. It has yellow-orange cheeks and indistinct stripes on its back and an overall dark brown coloration. It's also fairly large and similar to the Townsend's chipmunk, which I mentioned earlier, though they don't share the same range. The Siskiyou chipmunk looks very similar to the yellow-cheeked chipmunk, except it has grayer cheeks and it does not share a range with it. I'll have a range map on the next slide. 
It has the same dark brown coloration and indistinct stripes as both the yellow-cheeked and Townsend's chipmunks. This is also the species I differentiated from the Townsend's chipmunk earlier about its alarm calls, and it's the one with the single alarm call. So here's a range map for all four species in this species complex, including the Townsend's chipmunk, the yellow-cheeked chipmunk, the Siskiyou chipmunk, and the Allen's chipmunk, which we're going over now. The Siskiyou chipmunk is present from northwestern California into central Oregon, whereas the Allen's chipmunk is found directly to the south and east of it, as well as south into the Sierra Nevada mountains. The Allen's chipmunk looks similar to the Siskiyou chipmunk, but is overall grayer, and in inland areas, it is orange-brown, as it appears in this picture. There's also the possibility that the Allen's chipmunk hybridizes with the yellow-cheeked chipmunk in Del Rio, California, so that's something interesting to look out for. The Sonoma chipmunk is found in northwestern California. It is brighter in color than the Allen's chipmunk and the yellow-cheeked chipmunk, and it's also got white facial stripes, back stripes, and ear spots. It's also got white on the edges of its tail, though that's not very visible in this photo, but it's got those. The Miriam's chipmunk is found in the southern Sierra Nevada and all along the coastal mountain ranges of California from San Francisco all the way down to the Mexican border. It's notable because its back stripes are gray and brown instead of the usual black and white. The California chipmunk is almost identical to the Miriam's chipmunk and is found in several of the same areas. Its range consists of some mountain ranges in San Bernardino, Riverside, and San Diego counties. It can be distinguished because the Miriam's chipmunk has an alarm call with a terminal buzz at the end, like chip er, whereas the California chipmunk simile has a loud chip sound. You'll know it when you hear it. They're called chipmunks for a reason. The Palmer's chipmunk is the chipmunk species with the smallest range, found only in the spring mountains of Nevada to the west of Las Vegas. It's also another species without the dark stripe on its side, like the lodgepole chipmunk. And, uh, in fact, most of the rest of the species we'll be going over will have no dark stripe on their side. This guy also has gray on its cheeks and ear spots. The winter chipmunk is found all over the western mountain states from California to Colorado and Wyoming. It has brown back stripes, no dark stripe on its side, and white ear spots. It can be very similar in areas where the Colorado chipmunk also exists, in which case the Uinta chipmunk is only found above 7,000 feet in elevation, and the Colorado chipmunk is only found below 7,000 feet, which is very convenient. The Panamint chipmunk is found in some parts of the Californian Sierra Nevada, but it's mostly found in the mountains of southwestern Nevada. It has no dark stripe on its side, and its cheeks and ear spots are white to distinguish it from the Palmer's chipmunk. The Colorado chipmunk is found mostly in Colorado, of course, but it's also found in some surrounding states. It's similar to the Uinta chipmunk, but its back stripes are darker brown, and it's only found below 7,000 feet in areas where the, both of them exist. The Hopi chipmunk is found in Utah, Colorado, and a little bit of Arizona. It's very distinguishable from other species of chipmunk because, look at it, it looks like a sunburned chipmunk. But jokes aside, it's different because of its orange coloration with some orange-brown stripes. The cliff chipmunk is found all over the southwestern United States and into northwestern Mexico. It's identifiable by its gray body and its fairly indistinct stripes. The gray-colored chipmunk is found in central Arizona and New Mexico. It's identifiable by its gray neck and distinct stripes on its face and back. Lastly, the gray-footed chipmunk is found in central New Mexico and western Texas near the Carlsbad Caverns. It's the only chipmunk in its range aside from the least chipmunk, which is much smaller and has darker stripes on its back. Also true to its name, the gray-footed chipmunk has gray feet. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video and you thought it was informative, leave a like. And if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, subscribe. The next video I'll be doing is on ground squirrels, which will be another long one like this. And after that will be marmots and other medium-sized mammals like beavers and porcupines.